Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Surprise Your Spirit Show. I am Kendra, your host from Surprise Your Spirit. I'd like to welcome everyone tonight to the show. Um, for anyone new who's joining me, I am a medium slash intuitive reader from Saskatchewan, Canada. This show is about all things spiritual, all things energy. Um, it is comprised of um, guests, information, free readings night, free reading nights, um, anything to help you and guide you along your spiritual journey and help you to grow as a person to help create the best life for yourself and to help you to become the best version of you as possible. Really, it's to work on your soul's growth and um, be able to help to understand the, the journey, which we call life, and how you can step into more of who you are and who you're meant to be and really show that to the world while offering kindness and compassion to everyone around you, regardless of your circumstances or theirs. So you can find me here every Thursday evening. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Surprise Your Spirit. That is my Facebook page. Feel free to follow me. There's always wonderful things happening there. Facebook lives, free readings, daily energy, daily energy reads to start off your day to kind of give you a feel for what the energy of the day might be like. Um, prepare, help you to prepare, help you to um, keep your hopes high and you know, keep you focused on your journey, as well as to inspire. I offer a lot of online workshops where you can join me via Zoom and you can hop in and meet other people. Um, since on Zoom, we can all see each other and interact. And then those sessions actually get recorded and sent out to you for your own keeping and reviewing for as long as you'd like to keep them. So if you ever want to refer back to any of the workshops, um, you can pop the video on and replay the information. I'm having really great success with it. I know a lot of the feedback I've been getting has been very positive. Um, the classes usually range anywhere from, 17, from 7 to 15 people. And they're usually an hour and a half each from anywhere two, three to six weeks-ish. Um, on the same evening every week, and there's all sorts of things that I'm running workshops on. So um, maybe you have a group of people that you would like a certain workshop for. You could reach out to me and we could arrange that, and then everyone can do it from the comfort of their own home. And if you can't make the session, you still get the video. So you can also find me on YouTube. Um, I believe it's under my name, Kendra Waldo, and I was trying to tag it tonight before I got on the show, but I'm not really technically inclined. I'm still learning, and i am just started to use my YouTube channel more, but you can subscribe there. A lot of those, most of those videos do get paste, uh, posted to my Facebook page, Surprise Your Spirit page there. Um but there is other stuff on my surprise your spirit. Uh, sorry, on my Facebook. Uh, my goodness, I'm getting tongue tied. On my YouTube channel that have not been posted on my surprise your spirit page. Um, just different types of videos that maybe help people to understand, you know, kind of what life is like for people like myself who are in tune with energies um, or just some basic understandings around some simple concepts. Um, you can also hop into the chat here on Spreaker.com. Say hello. Um, tonight is free reading night. You can ask one question or you can have a surprise uh, what spirit wants you to know reading. So that is the only thing uh, you will only get one question you will only get what spirit wants you to know I won't drag it out um, just because of the time and energy that it takes and it is a free reading night so um, I'm not going to give someone a complete read 
Um, but I can answer some questions for you. The other thing I'm actually going to offer tonight that I haven't offered before, but I had, with the help of some quotes and, you know, inspirational, inspirational quotes and sayings from famous people and all over, I've compiled a little deck uh, uh, for myself and I can shuffle you and give you an inspirational quote that spirit will guide and lead if you just need something uplifting. So you can definitely call in and we will help you out there. Um, if you do have a question and you want to pop it in on the chat on Spreaker.com, <clears throat> I'll log in in a minute. I'm not there yet. My computer's being quite slow and I can answer questions for you out of the chat. So one question each or what spirit wants you to know and we can also do it that way. Now, so what, what am I going to share? I've, I've been thinking about this all week and I was really trying to prepare for my show and I usually have a really good idea of where I want to go with this and <clears throat> really what's been coming to mind for me is change. Um, change has been huge in my life, especially over the last, I mean, I, especially over the last two years. I'm a person who creates change, who craves change, who thrives off of change. And if I don't do that for myself, I easily become complacent, non-functional, easily suffer from depression um, because the energy is stale and stagnant. Now, I've really kind of worked hard to build myself to this point where I feel my life, my life is a little bit unsettled still and I'm not quite where I'd like to be with the people that I'd like to be with but I'm at a place in my journey where I can help others um, and help them to understand as they're creating change and making change and trying to understand situations that are going on in their life and understand the growth that the universe is trying to push them through in order to get their, them to someplace better on their journey. Now, um, so with regards to this change, I mean, many of you have heard me talk uh, a while back that um, for the past five years, for sure, or more, we've we've been really bombarded with some intense energies. Now the planet Saturn has a lot to do with that. Um, and Saturn's going away soon. So everyone can get really, really happy about that. And it, it won't come back for about 25 or 27 years. So we can all breathe for a little bit if everyone's felt like they've had a lot of upheaval. But it's been about the last two years where you've been trying to, you know, maybe, and I'm, and I'm speaking about my own life, but I see it in others as well, kind of trying to get your feet, you know, get the ground back underneath your feet and get moving ahead. And maybe a lot of people felt like they were spinning their wheels and it seemed like nothing was moving forward. With this new moon that we just had yesterday, the 19th, 20th, depending on where you're at and what time the new was actually in complete new phase. Um, this is really a new beginning. And tomorrow we have the um, equinox coming in, change of season. And change of season always ushers in new energy. It allows for, you know, death and rebirth of energies. Not so that everyone thinks someone's dying around them. I'm just going to clarify that. And it allows, this new moon is allowing you to really let go of the past and those hard years and start to step into a new beginning that a lot of us have been hoping for and wishing for 
and praying about. Um, so, you know, I just want everyone to be reassured that there is, you know, there's good, good times coming ahead and you just need to keep pushing forward. And maybe you're at a, at a stage on your journey where you're actually going through the change and you're not quite at the rebuilding phase yet or the starting phase. There may be some things you need to finish up, but at most of you, if you're here, you're, you're, you've been guided and attracted to me because of the law of attraction and how energies attract. And so you're probably at this phase where there's newness coming in and you need to open up and allow for that. So change people, change is good. Embrace change, allow it, don't fight it, don't fear it, don't reject it. Um, what the universe has in store for you is amazing. Um, really, really take note of, really, really take note of the fact that I have so much I want to say and it's not all coming out at once. Um, I just lost my thought. Anyways, I'll come back to that. So anyways, again, for anyone who's just hopped on, it's free reading night. You can ask one question or you can ask me to let you know what spirit wants you to know. You can hop in on Spreaker.com and say hello there or ask your question there and I will do the reading live here. If you want to call in and speak with me, the number to call in and join me live on the show right now is one nine two eight four eight five. 4611 um and i'll get someone to one one of the wonderful ladies that's popped in the chat to put it in there for me so i don't distract me so if anyone needs to to see that number again it's also on my facebook page on facebook as well on the poster the top and we'll pop it into the chat on speaker.com and so i'm going to take a look at we have Patricia Salas in the chat, and she is, she wonders what spirit wants her to know. Wow. Let's take a look, Patricia. We will ask spirit what they can tell you. And... All right, let's see what the spirit is you know. Okay, so the first thing out for you is that right now is a time of rest and rejuvenation. So making sure you are getting your energy um, cleared, contained, and gathered because you're going to be launching and embarking on a new journey. Um, something that, you know, spirit is showing that's, you know, that's happening that you're not aware of um, is, is that new love is trying to enter into your life and there's healing there. So this is going on in energetic world. You may not be aware of it at this point in time in the physical. And spirit is also showing me that there is a piece of you that's fighting that healing. So I would encourage you during this rest and rejuvenation time to really take a look at that and why that's happening. Um, there's some mending of emotions that need to happen here. It's really deeply connected to family as well. Um, I'm just taking note of that. The next thing, too, is that Spirit's saying in order for you to, to keep moving through, you really need to, there's a piece of you that has a, is wearing a mask, and you need to remove that mask. And this is really coming in 
regarding the logical brain. So paying attention to your thinking is something you need to do for yourself in order to move along in your path. Um, taking that mask off, looking at where are you, where are you not being honest with who you are fully and why, and not wanting what others have. Um, there's a piece of, there's a, there's, there's a piece around envy coming in here, but I'm not quite sure what that refers to. It's linked to healing and confidence. So just however that resonates for you, I, I'm not quite sure, but just know that it's there. Um, and working on that spiritual growth and tapping into more of who you are is going to be extremely important for you at this time. The next thing that spirit wants you to know is that, um, and, and this is a secret that they're sharing, you have choices coming and you're being guided to make sure you're choosing wisely, making sure you're having the information, you know what each choice entails, um, and that they're showing me that there's a bigger piece you're the bigger force behind something small. So your choices have a ripple effect is basically what they're showing me. Now, in your reading, you've pulled up a two fours um, on the outside of your reading, which means stability is extremely important. Um, in this next leg of your journey. So having a solid foundation. Um, you have a one in reverse, a number one in reverse, which means that healing needs to happen in order to help the creation phase. So you really need to allow more vulnerability and your heart chakra to open and expand. And then you have two sevens. So you really need a solid base in order to grow more spiritually and let your true authentic self shine um, and it's directly connected to healing and that's when that's when you can open up creating now spirit wants you to just be aware of um, discontent and boredom and making sure that you're not turning your back on a vision that you once had um, that you're looking at all the colors and making sure that the areas of the body, which which I'll refer to as chakras, but the energy centers, however that works for you, um, are aligned and that you haven't neglected those either in order to make happen what you'd like. There's a lot of green in your healing, so there's a lot of healing energy that's trying to get in to help you um with the thought processes that have been holding you back as well. One more thing that Spirit's adding before I finish up with your reading is that there has been um, some change in morals and values in the way you see things. And I think you've been a little hard on yourself about things that you thought were maybe true that are not true. Um, so leaving those things alone and just moving forward and knowing that it's okay to realize when you've bought in to some lies um, that weren't true to who you, who your authentic self is. So that's your reading for you, Patricia. So thank you for hopping in the chat room and asking for that. So anyone else, just as an example, that is a what spirit wants you to know reading so you can have your own you can call in um, we've put the number in the chat room but it is one nine two eight four eight five four six one one or you can like i said ask your question in the chat room or ask for what spirit wants you to know you can also have an inspirational quote or saying from the deck that i created um, from famous authors or just random ones that I've found, and we can give you that as well. You're so welcome, Patricia, also. So, I'm just checking in the chat room. 
So Linda has asked, today is her mom's birthday. Does she or spirit have anything to share with me? Let's see. So, Linda, actually what's coming through with regards to your question around that is your mother is actually asking you to look at how much of your day you invest in thinking about the past. And she wants me to remind you that the only business your past has in your present or your future is the wisdom that it's extended a bestowed upon you is actually the word that's coming out. So I'm not sure if that helps you or if you're connecting to that, but that's what's coming through for you. And she wants you to remember that um, your, your partnership on your journey here with the earth is a lesson for growth. And that's, that's all that I'm getting at this time, Linda, actually. So thanks for your question. Oh, I'm glad it makes sense. Always makes me feel better because I have no idea what it means. <laughs> That's always the fact that people are like, well, what does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm going to take a short break here, guys. And then I will hop back in and do some more reading and we'll see what else we can chat about. Perfect. I need some. Come on, the night will unfold. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. keeps missing the clouds seem to fade and every occasion I whisper your name I'm happy to hear that you'll still be around I thought you were leaving without a sound in my little both pros and cons It's hard to admit when you feel you don't belong So tell me, are you still in there? As beautiful as you are You just don't know how far In this world I'll be Right by your side with arms Even if you don't want You wrote your name in my heart
Welcome back, everyone. This is Kendra from Surprise Your Spirit here on the other side of the break. Welcome to anyone who's just hopping in and joining me that's new to the show. Um, so I wasn't really clear in the first half where you can find me. You can find me on Facebook at Surprise Your Spirit. You can find me at Kendra at Surprise Your Spirit. Um, Kendra at SurpriseYourSpirit.com is my email address. Or you can find me at www.surpriseyourspirit.com. You can find me on YouTube at Kendra Wallbaum. And um, amongst other places, you can find me here every Thursday evening. The, we have guests. We have all sorts of topics and learning. And um, check out my Facebook page to see upcoming events. There's lots of live live Facebook lives there where we do free readings and information and I just ask questions about spiritual journey, personal growth, um, and sometimes just have a good laugh. Check out any of the online workshops that I run or any of the in-person workshops that I run as well. Um, any of the services that I offer are listed on my Facebook page as well. So tonight is free reading night. I would like to welcome everyone to hop into the chat room at Spreaker.com. You can pop in and say hello. You can ask your question there if you have one. So it is a one question free reading night. Or you can ask for what spirit wants you to know. And I can let you know that. And I'm offering something a little bit different this evening as well. Um, I've created my own little deck of inspirational sayings. Um, from, you know, famous quotes, um, just random people that work for me and offer inspiration when I need it. And um, we can give you one of those. So just let me know what you'd like and I can help you out. So. So, Peg has hopped in to the chat room and she would like to know what spirit wants her to know. So I'm just going to see. Peg, the name Amber is coming to me, and I, I don't know if it's a name or a color, but it feels like a name, and I don't know, it sounds like Amber, and I don't often connect well with names, so I'm not sure what that means or to you or not. Spirit, what should Peg know here? So, Spirit is saying, Peg, that you have something to celebrate at this time. And that you really need to embrace that. It also is talking about some type of new partnership. It looks like two females and a male in this, in this celebration. So, I'm, I'm not sure how that resonates with you. And 
since it's just a simple reading, I can't get too into details, but they're talking about this. Um, they're also talking about um, something coming into harmony. Um, it's in an energetic creative stage right now. The energies are coming into harmony for you so that you can reap those rewards in the physical. Um, it's really about balance of the masculine and the feminine energies. And then what spirit wants you to know, actually, is um, they're, they're talking about a partnership peg, actually. And they're talking about some type of spiritual union that needs healing. So you're being asked to heal a spiritual partnership. The next thing that comes up really big is... Um, there's something coming, there's something coming to an end or a close that you've been waiting for. Um, but it's not happening fast enough for you. So spirit wants you to be patient. The next thing is that you are going to reap some reward from this ending. Um, it may actually feel like your world gets turned a little bit upside down. But that there are there are material harvests, so there actually is a benefit in the physical realm that comes to you from this. But during this process, you need to really heal this spiritual union or spiritual partnership um, that's happening. So, um. I know you're saying you don't know Amber, but I don't actually know if it's a name or a color and what that what that actually means. So maybe just put it in your back pocket because I know a lot of times my guides give information about future and then I get messages and emails. Oh, remember when you told me this and I told you you were nuts? Well, this is what it meant. So um, it's just coming through as Amber or that's what it sounds like. Sometimes I misinterpret, but... Sounds like amber. So I'm also being shown gold gold um, wine glasses or chalices. So maybe that's in relation to amber. I'm not sure. But the other thing, too, is the color amber, for me, means to um, slow down a little, just like the stoplight. So having a little bit of caution while proceeding forward. So if that resonates with you in something... Then there you go. So as for this spiritual union, Peg, if it's not related to a physical relationship, like I said, it's definitely in connection to a masculine, feminine balance inside of yourself that is going to bring rewards forward into a physical form for you. Um, finishing up the ending of something in order to allow that physical abundance to appear in your life is going to be important. So that's what I'm getting for you. I'd like to say hello to Jody, who's popped into the chat room at Spreaker.com. And I'd also like to say hello to Rhonda. She's also popped into the chat at Spreaker.com as well. And Jody, just so that you know, um, I'm not pulling one card read. You can either ask a question or you can ask for what spirit wants you to know. Or I can give you an inspirational card um, that Spirit will guide me to pick for you if you wanted that for yourself as well. So you'll have to be specific in the chat there and then I can help you with that. Something I wanted to talk about is the new moon energy um, is still in effect. It's really, it's really still powerful for the 24 hours after it comes out of its new moon phase. So if anyone was thinking about creating a vision board to help propel their their life forward, I would highly encourage you to do that as well. I started mine on the 19th. I've been I've been actually going to be I was creating my vision board for quite some time way back in February when I moved. Um, and I've been putting it on the back burner and the back burner and um, all of a sudden 
I was just really pumped at that it was the day to use this new moon energy to set my journey forward in, in the motion that I would, had hoped for it to go. And I, it's actually underneath me right now at the table. Um, I have a really big island in my tiny little apartment. And that makes absolutely no sense, but it is, it's a beautiful space. And so it's here, and I'm going, looking at it as I'm reading and connecting for you guys. Um, but now is a great time this evening if anyone has at least get a start on it, because then you can start amplifying the energy of some of the things you're wanting to put on there. And if you can't start it, then I would highly suggest that you actually um, prepare to use next month's new moon energy as well as it'll also be a powerful a powerful situation for yourself so help you propel things in the right direction so Jody wants to know what spirit wants her to know so let's take a look at that for Jody so Jody the first thing coming up for you is um your base chakra, your base chakra needs attention. You need to stay grounded. This is extremely important for you. Patience and planning. Having a solid foundation and pillars of support on either side of you is going to be extremely important in moving forward. And this is really connecting to your authentic self. Um, it's really connecting to your spiritual path. Secondly, there is someone who is very supportive of you and has always been supportive of you on your journey um, in the physical presence that is missing you and missing your presence. Um, this person is being defined as someone who is connected to money in some way, so it doesn't necessarily mean, um, mean that they have money or they are financially abundant but they may work at a bank or deal with money. There are all types of people like that. Um, then, And this person is also married. And they are also somebody who cultivates new growth in their life. Um, this person is going to help you to make choices around moving um, to cultivate choices and help you to make decisions around moving or movement okay so they will be a very stable partnership for you and helping you to stay grounded what you need to do for yourself is trust that this is a very very potent time for you it is creative It is creative. It is a creative time um, for you. But it's showing that you need a little, little, a little, little, a little, little. You need some hand holding with that. So it's bringing me back to this person who's going to assist you, okay? in stabilizing that trust that you're in a very creative mode um, where you can reap some abundance into your life. I also, this is really strange, I know, but I'm actually being shown a peach, the fruit. So I'm not quite sure what that means, if peaches have any significance to you, um, then just letting you know that it's coming up here for you. The next thing that comes out, now we talked about staying grounded. The key to creating what it is you're desiring to appear in the physical is staying balanced, Jody. Spirit is saying that you need to um, invest in yourself. You need to do what you need to do in order to maintain that balance for you. Um, seeking sources that can help you, 
reading, meditation, mentoring, all of those sorts of things, that's what you're going to need to do to maintain your balance in order to um, keep this prosperity point that you're in moving forward. If you can manage to do that while staying grounded and allow this person to help you, um, you are going to come out reaping some victory. There will be a success in the physical world for you. So you will actually have tangible rewards and you'll be able to see that it is working for you. So that's what Spirit wants you to know, Jody. Thanks for popping into the chat and asking for a read. I would like to welcome Helen into the chat room. And say hello there, Helen. And if you would like a read, let me know. It's a one question read. You can ask one question, or you can ask for what spirit wants you to know. So, um, some people in the chat are saying that they've recently had some issues with hearing me. I haven't changed anything with my mic at all since the break. So if no one can hear me, then I'm not sure what's going on. And I apologize. Um, but yes. So that's what we have there. There's still some time for you to pop in and get your free reading. Um, you can ask for an inspirational card as I have a new deck that I've created myself with finding. Or you can have a what's one question read or what spirit wants you to know. Back to the vision boards. I was, I could actually, I could actually talk about um, maybe how to create one. So when you put your vision board together, there is no right or wrong way to do it, but you want to make sure that your board is balanced, okay? So you don't want too much of your board to be emphasized on home life if you're actually wanting things in your work world to change because your vision board is amplifying the energy. So if you want a balanced life, you need to balance out the space of the areas you're trying to improve or change and make sure they're balanced. So, like I said, if, if your home life takes up three quarters of the space and your work life takes up this much and your personal life takes up this much, it's really going to throw those energies off balance and a lot of people don't know that. Mm. I haven't changed anything, I think. Is that better? I apologize to everyone out there right now. I'm speak uh, no, no, I just, no, it's okay. I, I want everyone to know I'm speaking with my producer on the other end because she's saying that my mic is puttering, but I haven't changed anything with anything that I'm doing. So I, I don't know why it would be doing that. It makes no sense to me. No, nope. She had asked me if I had a fan, so I do not have a fan. So, I know. Interesting. So, yeah, so I, I'm just letting everyone know I, I don't actually believe it's my end. It could be Skype, it could be our connection. So, bear with me because I've changed not a thing. I've actually been sitting in the same place, not moving at all. So, and I haven't turned anything off or on. There's no interference. So, I apologize for that. All right. Well, we have a few minutes left. If anyone would like a reading, you can also call in to have a reading and speak with me live if you so choose. The number to call is 1928 You can ask one question or you can ask a question.
How is that? Okay, so I made a change. We'll try this for the last little bit. All right, so as I was saying, we can do um, a one question read or I can look at spirit at a message that spirit wants you to know. Um, you can call in or you can pop into the chat room and let me know what it is you'd like. I'd be happy to help you or you can ask for a inspirational card and I'd love to help you with that as well. For anyone who's out there, I'm actually going to hop on Facebook Live tonight at 9.30 Central Standard Time and spend a half an hour on there. So if you'd like to join me, um, you can put that into your schedule. Um, I'll probably do a couple of free reads um, or some inspirational quotes for anyone who wants that as well. Say hello to everyone. I haven't been doing them as often live. Um, just trying to make a few changes to my scheduling and stuff like that to keep everything balanced. So, yeah, so back to the new moon, guys. Use this energy. Set some good intentions. Keep pushing forward. There's really great changes coming. Um, reap the abundance, you know, that the universe has to offer you. Um, you know, when I was talking about my journey, I was really finding that I was struggling with regret um, about some missed opportunities that I may or may not have had. Um, but I guess you didn't ever really know if you didn't have them, if you didn't try. But because I'm aware of the possibilities and I'm so aware of things, um, the energy and the pushback from doubt and fear really held me back. And so... I really tried to increase my intentions to face the fears in moving forward and allow the universe to give to me the things that I wanted um, to not let things get away on me again like I did because the universe always brings things back around again for you. Nothing that Anything that is meant for you cannot be kept from you on your journey. So if it doesn't circle back into your life before you depart, it wasn't meant for you. And learning to accept those things with grace um, and being thankful for every day is extremely important. I have filled my vision board with quotes, um, you know, that, really, that I really want in order to improve my personal growth. You know, what I want out of relationships of all kinds, how I like my family life to look, um, what I'm seeking for in my career, you know, and, and of course, finances. We all want finances. Um, but also the, the joy that comes into my life, right? I want joy to be number one in each one of those areas. So, I, I'm not willing to sacrifice joy just to have a ton of money. So making sure, like I said, your vision boards are balanced, but making sure your intentions are pure and clear when you send them out to the universe. You still have some time this evening to set some intentions and set them free and use the amplified energy coming off of the moon for this next leg of your journey. Next week, um, I'm going to do some talking about crystals. I'm also going to do some chatting about um, some spirit animals. So if you're wanting to learn about some of these things, next week will be a really informative show. I may or may not engage a guest. Um, that's still up in the air at this point. And um, we will see. What happens with that? My producer, um, my producer is talking about my mic to me, and I honestly think it's the connection. I don't think it's my mic because if it wasn't like that in the beginning of the show, something must have changed in the connection. So, I apologize to everyone if you're listening to this bumpy roaded show. 
But that's the way it goes when you're live sometimes. You just can't fix it. I can't just put you guys all on pause and switch up everything. But if it's the connection, I don't know if that will make it make it make it better or not anyway. So just to recap, we had free reading night here. I do have time to take a couple more. You can talk into the chat and put your question there or ask for a free read from Spirit. Um, what what Spirit wants you to know. Um, also you can find me on Facebook at Surprise Your Spirit. You can find me at www.surpriseyourspirit.com. I would also like to let everyone know that I'm going to be offering a online course um, calling Manifestation Madness. So actually, it's not Manifestation Madness. That's a lie. It's called Manifesting Madness. So it'll be about manifesting. I'm thinking it's going to be about a four-hour course. So it'll be four evenings for one hour each. Uh, it may be one and a half hour each for four evenings. I just am finishing up the content and I have to take a look over it to make sure I have enough I know how much time I need to just find some things. We're going to learn some things about feng shui that you can do to attract financial abundance into your house. Um, some other things that you can do with regards to shifting energies. Um, We'll talk about affirmations, why they do and why they don't work, how they can and how they can't work. Um, just giving you some basic understandings on how to help yourself manifest what it is you'd like in your life. Um, it should be a really great course. It'll be about, I'm thinking about $70. Um, it's going to depend on the amount of time that I need, how many classes in order to present the content. So it'll be about $70 around that that time. And like I said, you'll get all the classes on video afterwards so you can go back and listen to them also. Um, so if you can't make a live class, that's fine, but you'll be able to connect and see everyone else that's joined as well. So it's great for networking, for connecting people who are on the same type of journey as yourself. Um... I will be doing new moon and full moon readings for every single month, general readings. They will be posted on my Facebook page as well as on my YouTube page. And I will be offering 10 of each for personal readings. So if you would like a new moon or a full moon reading for a particular month, I will only be doing 10 as that's all my schedule will allow at this point in time. So you can message me to have yours to book it right away because last month I had enough to do 20 but I didn't have the time I had enough interest to do 20 but I just didn't have the time to fulfill that commitment so it will be the first 10 customers who inquire and see will get those but you can have your um there were readings for the new moon and the full moon put on my page so you can see the format and the types of questions that will be answered in those readings and take a look at them and if you'd like one you can contact me if that's something new that I'm doing and putting on. I've also started posting um, last Sunday I posted Sunday's energy read which I call Sunday's secrets in a video format where you actually hear me speak the message as opposed to writing the message that I do with the daily cards. I've had some really good feedback from people on that so I may continue to do that on Sundays and I, and I was thinking maybe one other day in the week. So some things will be shifting and changing. Please let me know what you think of, of some of the changes and what you prefer, the reading or the voice. Um, I know I had a lot of feedback that people like to hear my voice. It helps them to connect with the energy better than reading it. So um, just putting some of those things out there that you guys can see. I'm offering some workshops in Regina, Canada and Saskatoon as well. Some in-person one-day workshops. So if anyone knows anyone that would like to do that, they are specific geared towards women and their spiritual girls. So they are called Owning and Understanding Me, A Woman's Perspective. So if you're wondering about that, then please take a look at my Facebook page under the services event. Uh, not under the services, it's actually under the events tab. It's listed there. So yeah, 
Um, I don't have anything else for every anyone for you guys. Um, I don't have anything else from anyone else, so I'm gonna pop off a few minutes early. Thank you for joining me on this reading night, and thank you to my producer Sprinkles from the OTCR for producing my shows every week and for putting up with all the flubs that we have to go through sometimes on these live shows when things don't go the way that they're planned, but it just makes it more real, and I think it helps listeners to connect more to you when they're not perfected as well. Um, it just gives it a, a more real energy. So I'm by no means perfect, and I strive to be, but I don't think I'll be. Um, but thanks for joining me, everyone. I will catch you here next Thursday. Um, probably the content of next week's show will hopefully it may go up tomorrow. Um, I do have a little bit of time available tomorrow to sit in my office and do some things, but we all know how that goes. Sometimes life decides other things are going to take up that time, but hopefully on Monday, so you'll have the content ahead of time. And please remember, you can always catch the replays. I post them live on my Facebook. Or I post the links on my Facebook page so you can get them there or you can pop on to um, Spreaker.com and get them as well if you cannot catch a live show. So thanks for joining me this evening. Um, and just as a side note, if there's anyone out there, I do have some spiritual friends and some energy worker friends and some light worker friends. Um, I do know that my producer is looking for some hosts. If you'd be interested in hosting your own radio show, um, please let me know or please um, I can put you in contact with her. That would be fine too. Um, people need more people spreading the light and helping others to be the best that they can be. If you have something to offer and something to share, please let us know and we'll get you hooked up. So thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a good evening. Take care. Until